hi guys so today i am gonna show you how to create embedded framework in ios which would have support for both ios devices and simulator for this tutorial we will first have to download lmo file project so let's go on google and type lmo file github so that's the first link we have to download the code we are downloading at a zip and let's put this folder somewhere in the desktop so we can just have everything in one place for for the tutorial uh, now let's open the project file and in signing and settings let's assign our signing okay and select iOS for animal file now let's select any random simulator and just build the project this will create a framework or simulator which we can see in products animal file framework now let's create a generic iOS framework the procedure is same let's build it so our frameworks are ready now let's go to the finder and see okay so we have both the folder ios phone and simulator let's create a new folder in desktop called ios la, called alamo file framework and we will just copy both of them so let's open it and we have copied the iphone framework and now let's rename the simulator framework to dash sim now let's copy this framework and paste it in same folder now we have both the frameworks one for the iphone and one for the simulator now let's go behind and cd to that folder and now let's copy and paste this lipo command this command will basically combine both of the frameworks together so let's do it so we have this combined framework thing now we have to just copy it and replace it in the elmo file framework and in the sim framework we have to just copy everything in this shift module and paste it in the elmo file shift module and replace it okay so our elmo file framework is now cre created which supports uh, both iOS simulator and the devices so we can get rid of all the other files now let's go and make our custom framework so in Xcode new project select a framework and next let's name it testlib Okay, create now let's just copy the elmo file framework which we have made drag it be sure to copy it and now in build settings search for workspace and for validate workspace tick to yes this will run the framework accordingly if we are running a simulator it will just take the simulator framework if we are just building for the ios device it will just get the ios device framework don't forget to just not tick that because it will give you an error so let's create a file this will be a public class that we will access from our project so for this our framework let's name it public class test lib we will require a public in it so let's create one and let's import elmo file and let's copy and paste the elmo file example which will basically use the elmo file framework to 
hit an API and get the response back. So let's copy it from the notes folder. and make this function a public so we can access it from the project we are integrating our embedded framework to let's build the project for a simulator and for generic iOS devices same procedure like we did for LMO file so now now we are going to like products and we will just combine both of them so let's go over there and see what we have so we have a iphone framework right now which is a generic iphone framework let's again create a folder over here and name it test lib framework and let's copy the content of test lib over here okay and and for simulator we will do it again like same we will rename it to dash sim and now let's copy this folder again so let's open the terminal cd to the terminal again and just copy so this will just combine both of the framework over here Let's copy this and paste it over here. Replace it. Same thing in the simulator framework. We will go in the shift modules and copy all the content from here and paste it in the framework. Shift modules. Let's replace everything. Okay. So now we are done with our iOS simulator plus generic iOS device framework so now let's create our project in which we will embed this framework so in xcode let's create new new project new ios application create let's name it something and click on next let's create it in build setting we have to again go there and in workspaces let's validate it to yes and now we have to just copy the framework which we have created right now drag and drop it be sure to copy it and okay we are done now in setting we have to scroll down and let's do it embed without signing let's try to build let's try to build the project for simulator and let's see if it gives any error or something so let's see okay so the project is building perfectly fine for the simulator now let's get to the project file and initialize our class and call the method which was indirectly calling the LMO file so let's import our frame custom embedded framework which was called testlib which internally had LMO file so let's create a class for that uh, tb equal to testlib and now let's call the method which we were calling from there and this is the public method and now let's try for the simulator and see our console so as we can see the method has been called and all the output for the following api has been printed in the console so for simulator it is working perfectly fine let's check for the ios device okay it's built it successfully
and as we can see the console the console has been printed successfully so let's that's the wrap so this is how we create embedded